Secretary Hayes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Here, here. First of all, let me offer congratulations to the Premier for yesterday's pipeline approvals. Because, in truth, if we were in government, we would be happy to. Correct. But in Premier, I, I caution you against cracking the champagne just yet. Right. Approval is a good first step, but it's only one step of many, something our former PC government was well aware of because we were pleased when the Northern Gateway got Cabinet approval on our watch. Mm -hmm. We were, however, cautious after protests and court challenges, and now a new decision by a new government that project is but a memory. Yes. On behalf of all Albertans, we sincerely hope the same fate does not befall Kinder Morgan's Trans Mountain Pipeline. But right. let me remind you, this new federal government put 157 conditions on the project. Right. Northern Gateway had 200. And opposition to Northern Gateway was muted compared to the campaign that has already risen up against Trans Mountain. Let's look at a, at a few of the early vows to block this pipeline, starting with, and this is incredible, people on the Alberta government's own payroll, two members of the Oil Sands Advisory Group. Hey. I will be looking for confirmation the Premier has fired both of them by Friday. Otherwise, her commitment to reaching Tidewater is a weak promise indeed. And in your own NDP party federally and in British Columbia, and a friend of the NDP Green, Green Party leader, Elizabeth May, has said she'd rather go to jail than see the pipeline built. Holy leap manifesto, Batman. And uh, this is on top of the Mayor of Vancouver Please. and a litany of pause, radical environment. Stop the clock a second. This is the third time today I've asked you, don't make comments when a member is speaking. Both sides of the House, start the clock again. Please proceed. Thank you. And Mr. Speaker, the NDP government in federally in, in British Columbia, their party is fighting against it. Mr. Speaker, on top of this, the Mayor of Vancouver and a litany of radical enviro groups are rallying as we speak. Premier, we're cheering for you and for the good of Alberta, but we have seen approvals before and we have seen them fall away. Premier, what you promised Albertans in return for your misguided climate change plan is a social license, and so far you have not delivered. You don't, so don't sit in your political laurels and do a victory lap quite yet. Mr. Speaker, can I finish, please? The work is just starting, and your promise of a cleared social license path is still broken. Thank you, Honourable Member. I think that